All right, and reading today, we are continuing writing our letter, pretending that we are pilgrims, we are the colonists, and we're going to respond to the letter that we received from our uncle Thomas George. So yesterday, we started our first draft. Remember, Miss Sharp taught us that first draft means first copy. It's like a practice. So our success criteria was, I can generate a draft by developing, selecting, and organizing ideas relevant to a topic, purpose, or genre. So our purpose is we're writing a friendly letter. Today, we're going to continue with this letter. I'm going to push play on our success criteria and I want you focusing your attention, thinking and listening about what we're going to do today. Today, you have two goals. The first one is that you can revise to improve your writing using the appropriate reference materials and edit your writing for format and conventions like spelling, punk capitalization, usage of words and punctuation. Revise means to make changes. Edit also means to make changes. So today you're gonna be making changes to improve your writing, to make it better. You're not gonna be redoing it completely. You're just going to be making changes to make it a bit better. Also, I can use available technology to produce and publish legible documents. Legible means that it's able to be read. So today you're going to be using typing and seesaw in your computer to make a document, a letter that is able to be read by other people. So today we're going to take our work from yesterday and we're going to improve it. That means we're going to revise it. We're going to edit our writing to make it better. Now we're going to learn about how can we do this? How can we as third graders make our writing better? Today you will be editing and revising using CUPS. CUPS stands for capital understanding, punctuation, and spelling. Does your letter have correct capital letters at the beginning of sentences and where needed? Is the understanding correct? Does it make sense? Is it a friendly letter? Do you have the correct punctuation throughout? And do you have correct spelling to the best that you can? So today, boys and girls, when we are editing and revising our letter, that's our success criteria today, we're going to use something called CUPS. CUPS tells us to check for capital letters, that our sentences can be understood, that they make sense, punctuation, and correct spelling. So today, when we look at our writing, you're going to ask yourself, did I do these four things? And you're going to check your own writing. We're going to look at an example that Miss Sharp has created using cups. I'm looking for friends who are focusing their attention, thinking about how they can revise and edit their writing to make it better. Here is a friendly letter that I wrote to my dad. I'm going to use cups here to help me edit and revise my letter. I'm going to check for capital letters, understanding, punctuation, and spelling. I'm going to start by looking for capital letters. Capital letters should be at the beginning of sentences and special nouns like names, months, days of the week. 
as I go through here, I can see already, I already have one mistake up here. The date is December 17th, 2020. And the months I know always start with a capital letter. So I'm going to make that a capital D. At the beginning of my greeting, dad is what I call him. So that's his name. So that needs to also have a capital letter as well as my greeting, dear. Dear and dad should both have capital letters. How are you doing? I, the word I is always going to be capitalized. So I need to make that change in my writing. I have been very busy with school over, oh, here's another beginning of the sentence that needs to be capitalized and is not. There's another I, I made a lot of mistakes. It's a good thing that I am editing and revising. I went to see a hockey game. It was really exciting. I, oh, there's another one. I am looking forward to seeing you this weekend. I like to eat tacos. What have you been up to? Your daughter, Stephanie. Daughter's not what he calls me. Stephanie is. That's my name. It should also have a capital letter at the beginning of it. And now I have done my capital letters. So Miss Sharp is showing us how you can revise and edit your own writing. After she wrote the letter to her dad, she went back and she used cups. She started with the C because C stands for capital letters. She read all of her words and she identified <clears throat> mistakes that she made and she went back and she fixed those mistakes. Now we're going to see her use the U in cups. She's going to check for understanding. Let's see how she does that. Now I'm going to look for understanding. Does everything in here have to do with a letter to my dad? Just telling him how I've been and asking questions. How are you doing? I have been very busy with school. Over the weekend, I went to see a hockey game. It was really exciting. I am looking forward to seeing you this weekend. I like to eat tacos. That doesn't seem like it makes sense with the rest of the letter. So I'm gonna take out the sentence about tacos. And then I say, I, what have you been up to? I think that makes sense that I would ask him what he's been up to after I tell him what I have been up to. So I've checked for understanding. Now I'm gonna look for punctuation. I've got a comma after the day, but before the year, a comma at the end of my greeting. How are you doing? That is a question. So that means that I should have a question mark there. I have been very busy with school. Over the weekend, I went to see a hockey game. It was really exciting. I am looking forward to seeing you this weekend. What have you been up to? Oh, again, that's going to need a question mark. Your daughter, comma, Stephanie. So I have checked my punctuation, and that is correct. Now I'm going to. So Miss Sharp is modeling how you can use the you to go through all of your sentences and make sure they make sense and make sure all the sentences are about the topic. Then she used the P in cups to check for punctuation. I noticed her correcting two mistakes. She had a period or no punctuation and she really needed to have a question mark. So I am glad that Mrs. Sharp is showing me how to use cups to check for punctuation. We still have one more that she's going to check for, and that's the S in cups. The S stands for spelling. Now look at my spelling. December, yes. I have been very, oh, that's not how I spell the word very, so I'm going to change that. Busy with school. Over the weekend, I went to, what, oh, I'm missing the vowel in the word went. W-E-N-T, to see a hockey game. It was, uh, now I know that that is how was sounds, but I know from my sight words that was is W-A-S. It was really exciting. I am looking forward to seeing you this weekend. What have you been up to? Your daughter, Stephanie. Now I've checked for my spelling. And so I have done all of cups. 
I am done editing and revising my friendly letter. So boys and girls, just like Ms. Sharp did, today you are going to use cups. You are going to edit and revise your letter as a friendly letter to our Uncle Thomas. So today we're going to start by looking at our work in our breakout room and we're going to use cups to practice. Before we go into breakout rooms, we want to review what your letter should be about. Yesterday, I saw some friends who were writing sentences not about life in the colonies. So I left some notes on some tasks saying, this letter is not about your real life. This is a pretend letter we are pretending that we live in the colonies. So let's go through the rubric and let's talk about what your letter should be about. We know your letter should have a date. It should have a greeting. It should have a closing and your name. We will talk more about that in a little bit. But the most important part in your letter is right here. You should describe the journey. Remember when our uncle Thomas George asked us, how was the boat ride? In your letter, you should describe the journey to the colonies. Your letter should say two interesting facts about the journey on the boat when you came over to the new colonies you should have two interesting facts. Then your letter should describe a shelter. Remember shelter is another word for a house or a home. In your letter, you should have two interesting facts about the type of homes the colonists have built. Not your real home, you should have two facts about the types of homes and shelters the colonists built when they came to a new country. In your letter, you should describe the food the colonists are eating. Not what you eat. We are pretending that we are colonists. So in your letter, you should have two interesting facts about the food the colonists have eaten. And in your letter, you should have two interesting facts that describe the activities. Do you remember when our Uncle Thomas George asked us, what do you do to have fun? In your letter, you should describe the activities the colonists do. I'm going to use this page to grade your letters. I'm looking for two interesting facts about all these four questions. In our breakout rooms, you should have had a chance to talk about the facts in your letter. If today you are writing your letter and you realize, oh no, I only have one fact about the food. Guess what? Today is your day to edit and revise. You can make your writing better. So if you are reading your letter and you realize you don't have all of this information, today's the day where you can add it. You can use your text on Mayan, the videos in our resources, and your background knowledge about what life was like in the colonies. You need to make sure that you have all of this information in your letter as you work today. Also in your letter, we're going to make sure that we are completing cups. 
you want to make sure that you are checking for capital letters that your sentences make sense and you can understand them. You have correct punctuation and spelling that makes sense. Today, I want you to talk about what you understand about cups. When we go into a breakout room, talk with your group about how can you use cups to make your writing better today. It is time for us to talk about your independent work today and what slides you need to complete. So let's go over this and you are thinking about what questions you have. Save your questions for the end. We are on the same task from yesterday. Yesterday, you started sharing your details in your letter to our uncle right here. This was your first draft. Today, it's time to continue. Look at slide four. On slide four, it gives us our success criteria for day two, which is today. I can improve my writing. I can use cups to edit and revise my writing. Your job today on slide number five is to write your final letter. You may use your details from slide two where you already shared ideas. On slide five, you will complete your draft and I will grade your writing on slide five. Slide five is the most important slide where you are checking your work with cups, where you are writing interesting facts about life in the colonies, and you're checking that you have written a friendly letter. When you are done writing, you can check your own work before Mrs. Renelay grades it. How can you do that? Look at slide number six with me. Slide number six is the rubric. This is what I'm going to use to grade it. I will come onto the rubric on your task and I will say, does Ashley have a date? Yes or no? And I will give her points. Does Landon have a greeting in his letter? Yes or no, and I will give him points. Does Gloria have a closing? Yes or no, and I will give her points. This is where you can check your work to see, did I say two interesting facts about the journey? Did I share two interesting facts about the shelters the colonies have? Did I mention two interesting facts about the food the colonists eat? Did I describe two interesting things like activities? And did I use cups? Did I check my sentences for capital letters, understanding, punctuation, and spelling? This is where you will check that you used cups. This last row is where I will check. Do you have only a couple mistakes or do you have more than four mistakes and you did not use cups to check your work? This is called editing and revising your work. When you check your work to see if you have met all the success criteria, that's how you know you were successful today. Your job is to write your final letter on slide five and check your work using the rubric before I see it and before I grade it. <laughs> 